What's up everyone? Maximilian here bringing you some more ranked games online for Street Fighter Cross Tekken. This time, as you notice, I'm actually teamed up with a partner, and it's Renick. The other night, we got together, and we actually shared a few matches, and we split some online play together uh, on Xbox, since you can't play locally, unfortunately. You can play over the internet with each other, and that's exactly what we did. If you've noticed, I've taken the point with Kazuya, and he's wrapping up the back with Hugo, and I'm going to do my best to give you guys some live commentary during this fight. Just there, uh, the opponent's Kazuya went for an overhead, which is not safe, and allows me to freely punish by bringing in Renix Hugo. And Renix Hugo wraps up the round with a chain into sweep with Hugo, and that'll just about do it. So here we go, first round went to myself and Renix, Kazuya and Kazuya square off. And uh, it's an interesting matchup, but oh, this is going to be a lot of damage. Uh, Renick comes in at a little bit of an odd time, but it's still good. It brings him in, but he didn't get too much damage as a result. If you've noticed, the guy's actually rocking two assist gems. I'm not too, exa too sure exactly which ones they are, but I think he's got an auto block gem rocking right now. And I've seen a lot of people using auto block gems as of late online. It's, it's pretty insane. Does his best to back up as much as possible, but Renick pursues him all the way into the corner and throws Raven into the ground for a good 30%, and this will do a lot of damage. I sadly barely just had enough meter at the end of it, so I wasn't able to get it. Missed my Link combo, but Raven is now on the defense, and Kazuya gets one of his Tekken chains, and that'll just about take that game for me and Renick, so that one went pretty smooth. Uh, it's crazy how effective it can be with a character that already does high damage, and then you bring in Hugo on the opposite end to do even more damage. Our next game is going to go up against the uh, the actual proper paired team of Kazuya and Kuma, and this guy's got a lot of BP, so let's see what he's got to bring to the table. Uh, although I think he's once again rocking a uh, an autoblock jam, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, going for some of my chains, and if you collide in the air like what just happened, you can see how much damage as a result, and with some players, man, they just want to keep their character in too long, and we didn't even see one bit of Akuma, of Kuma, in that entire round. So here we go, round two for myself and Renick, uh, on match point. Uh, sitting here playing the spacing game, but Hayachi can play the mid-screen spacing game very well, because he can choose to go into a high or low mix-up scenario. But Kazuya has got an excellent sweep and an excellent mid-screen overhead. Uh, he gets the back jump crossover, but I jumped just at the perfect moment, and it gave a chance for Hugo to come in and use the meter. Uh, I put meter gems on Kazuya for the f for the sake that when Hugo comes in, he'll have the meter to use it in a situation like this where his power gem is activated. Uh, Renick does a good job by blocking high. Uh, but he gets sucked into one of Heihachi's mix-ups. The guy goes for a couple of jabs in between his combo, which might not be the best method for damage, but it's damage nonetheless. Uh, he's colliding with Hugo in the air and once again getting more damage, but we haven't seen him bring in Kuma yet at all. Will he do it here? Maybe? No, he keeps going for more damage and that should just about do it. So Kuma came in at the very end and was able to clean up the match. It can be really hard for Hugo sometimes to bring in the opposing character unless he uses like EX because none of his moves really have much invincibility at all. He doesn't have like a Shoryuken or anything like that. But Hayachi is on the move right now. He's still doing his uh, couple of jab combos. I use one of my EXs just to get out of there and add some invincibility. But um, he's currently on the assault right now. I'm going to do my best to tag in Renick as soon as possible and to get some of that damage in with Hugo. Will he go for super? No, he doesn't. He goes for the air grab, which is just almost as much as enough. So he's on the pursuit right now, and oh, if he landed the stat, uh, the light kick or the light punch right after that, he might have been able to get a ton of damage, but he barely misses it. Um, we've got Hayachi in the corner, but right as soon as I say that, there's a crazy cross-up, and Renick is dealing with a lot of insane stuff from Hayachi until he gets scooped up by an EX command grab, which takes off nearly all of his life. There's that auto-block gem, so it definitely is, and a mid-air collision puts the round in our favor, and a KO to myself and Renick. So, uh, two games in the bag for us. It's going pretty well so far. Uh, our next opponent is going to be... It looks like Dalzim and Guile. So this is a pretty strict keep-away team, uh, especially for the sake of uh, Dalzim. Dalzim can get in with a little bit of his tricky teleports and such, but if I choose to keep going for certain mix-ups like that one, just his, uh, his oh, mid-screen overhead, it can be pretty devastating. And wow, Dalzim's already in the mix and in the corner with Hugo on the pursuit. And wow, Renick predicts the jump. Leaps up, grabs Dalsam in the air, and takes that round for us. Very good call on his end that he was going to try to jump away. 
So here we go, round two. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get in on Dalsum um, approachably. Like it's it's a little bit different. He he can wave dash in, or I can wave dash with with, with Kazuya, but he can also do his low stretch limbs attacks. Uh, brings in Guile temporarily, but then as soon as that happens, he tags him out and he does a close uh, Yoga Fire, which I don't think is safe, and Rennick comes in as a result of the cross rush. Dalsum is now running as far away from Hugo as he possibly can, as he possibly can, and when Rennick rings in uh, myself to try to pursue. Uh, it, it is a lot easier for Kazuya to get in on a character like Dalsum just because of the extended mobility, but at the same time, if, if Dalsum does this stuff, it can be very hard to make an approach. Um, at one point, I think it might just be a better idea to sit at full screen and just build meter if we have the life lead. But at the moment, we don't, and uh, Rennick's doing his best to get in there, and he predicts once again another jump and is able to grab Dalsum out of the sky. Uh, Rennick on the approach, Dalsum getting further and further into the corner. You know he's probably looking for a moment to tag in uh, Guile. Ooh, chooses to teleport. The whiffed air grab is going to lead into a bit of damage from Guile, and now they're in a very good position because there's 30 seconds left, and they have a character and a half with full life bars. Uh, he brings in my Kazuya that has about 25% health, and I'm going to try to do my best to get as much damage as possible, but I, that was definitely a, an accident on my part. I could have gone into the, uh, the EX double hit, and it would have done a ton of more damage. But here comes Guile and Kazuya. Oh, a little bit of damage there. It might be enough. No, definitely not. With three seconds left on the clock, if Rennick does this, it could take it, and he... Wow, goes for the EX slam. Very smart on his part to take advantage of the meter. Two seconds left on the clock. Good stuff to Rennick. Uh, that'll just about do it for the first set of the few games I had with myself and Rennick teaming up to take on Xbox Live and the uh, folks on Ranked Games. If you guys happen to enjoy these, please leave a comment below, and I'll be back with another set of games and live commentary tomorrow. This has been Maximilian, and I'll see you next time.